and once you know this what you have to do is you have to go here and right here you have to find the name of your PCI device ID so you have the name of both you're gonna have this anyway you're gonna have this even if your USB 3 is working or not and this is the name of your USB 3 device and what you what I will recommend you is take a screenshot of this as well oh my god calm down so you're gonna take a screenshot of this and this is the name of your USB 3.1 port if you want to you can take a screenshot of this this all gonna be used later and you close this and you have your you have done your job here as well you can minimize it and you close it and now is the work of MICI ESL and you open this and what you have to do is you make a new thing and you go here so what you have to do after opening this Mac I ASL is you have to open this ACPI for all and basically this is what makes your Hackintosh look at your USBs so this is for every single every single USB port for every e for each of the Mac models that's available and there are plenty of things you have to add it here and uh, it's easier to just add it to tell you how to add it and what to add it than to teach you what this is so let's start and now we're going to use our screenshots we have taken previously so go back to your screenshots and find the name of your PCI device ID for your USB 3 the first job is find the name and here you can see the PCI device ID is 0x A2AF so the main concern is with the A2AF and you have to find the name of your USB not mine so you have to take a screenshot of your re system report USB and you have to find the name of your so right now the name for my device is A2AF we close this and we stay zoomed in and we go down so the here the package name is hub we ignore this we have to we ignore this eh01 we ignore this eh02 we ignore this and 80861 e31 this does not match our package name or our pca device id name 8xx so someone who cannot find anything related to their package and they cannot find an exact 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 match they should find something which matters for example the first eight matches and the three other they cannot find anywhere else then they have to use this one otherwise they have to find the exact match so first you have to search for the exact match we go down here 9xx again this is now we see 9cb1 something people can find exact match and here comes a12f if we go back to our screenshot we go here what is a to af so i think this is not the exact match let me go down there again it came up a 1 to f and mine is a to af so we go down again 90xx we go down a to AF and Kaboom we find the match so this is our match and everything above and below this is kind of waste so what we have to do is we have to go down and from here we keep cleaning it so remember not to delete any extra bracket or gonna, you're gonna pay for it at the end and we're gonna select till this and we see we don't take any extra bracket in so we're taking one and what two so this one is going to going and here this is going to and so this one is an extra one so we take down one extra okay this one and see it so this one is the extra one so we clear it 
and we again go up so this one is mine and anything above this we select this and we'll keep going up 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 till we find we'll keep going up oh hub one and now we're going to find hub two and till hub two we're going to delete everything so now we're going here and now the only thing we see is this and one more thing is that the this bracket can be messy so it's going to be messy at the end basically so you have to have that there should be six brackets at the end one two three four five six seven eight so these are the extra one and you start to take them down from here one two how much remaining one two three four five six okay so we are good now you can clear this up and we go up all the way and now here you can see little details already mentioned if you have a USB 3 on the back of your system or at the front of the system you have to enter 3 in front of the USB connector type and if it's a USB 2 then you enter a 0 so HS04 and now we go to our screenshot in which we take the screenshot of our USB port names so here is the HS01, HS02, HS03, HS04, HS05 and 6 so this HS stands for high speed and for high speed stands for USB 2 not USB 3 and for USB 3 it stands for SS super speed so what you have to do is mine is from 1 to 6 and here from 1 to 6 we have to enter 3 here 3 3 3 3 3, three connector type because it's a USB 3 and anything below this is going to die so what you do is you have and, and remember don't to kill SS only the HS you have to kill first and till here we kill all the HS high speed ones and now we are remaining with the same SS star package and now if your if your motherboard have a USB 3 then you have to save both SS and HS and if it's a USB 2 port that you have selected then you only need to save the HS one you don't need to save the SS one for that individual USB 3 which you figured out here so I hope you're getting this these are the USBs we figured out so now I have to save the SS1 till 6 because I've already saved the HS1 till 6. These are the 6 ports at the back of my motherboard. And anything from down here, we're going to take it down. Evil. Evil we. Okay, okay. Remember, don't kill the extra bracket. Only take this one down. down. So we are still with our extra 6 brackets. One, two, three, four, five, six. This one should be gone. Six brackets at the end. And this is our SSDT. And we go here and we choose save as. And here we use ACPI machine language binary. You can name it basically anything ssdt slash usb3 dot aml and you can save this and there is a specific name you can select for that and that name is i can't remember right now the name is ssdt uiac dot aml so you can rename it to this one that might be a little more technical so we should do that as well so we go here we copy this okay paste this so both of the names gonna work but let's do it this way and now what you have to do is you have to go here and go to global configurator 